Okay. Start the hook in there, and right about a third of the way back behind the eye, I start the thread there. Backwards. And I'll tie that off. You want to tie in the material. You want to tie in the rib material, and you'll see that this rib material is fairly wide. It's, it's a little on the wide side. Tie it in and tie it down all the way down around the bend. When, just before you get to around the bend portion of it, you want to pull it and stretch it. And what that's going to do is make it thinner. Make it real thin. Okay. Once it breaks, then you can go around the corner with it. Just go down, just around the bend. Okay. I like to turn the vise a little bit sideways like that, and you'll see that I have a very small amount of dubbing on there. All right. What I do is I tease out a little bit because this is this is. Um, it, it's, it's a long strand fiber. What I'll do is start the dubbing at the, at the back end there with a really fine tip, make a couple of turns so that it catches it, and now it'll allow it, it'll, that will allow it to uh, tighten up. Okay? And I want to go around the bend and about two-thirds of the way up the hook shank. Right about there. And then I'll take the I'll take the uh, the ribbing and I'll go around through there, just leaving enough space to so that you see the uh, bad thing about a pedestal. So that you still see the black through there. You don't want to see more, you don't really want to see more ribbing than you see of the black. When this gets wet, the ribbing almost disappears, and there's just a little tiny shade of, uh, there's just a little tiny shade of the flash that comes through. It's just little points of it that actually show through, which make which is pretty good. I tried it underwater and I, I, I thought, man, that was pretty good. Oh, one other thing you guys are going to have to do is you're going to have to get yourself some CDC out of this package here. And you're going to need three feathers. The CDC feather looks like this, okay? And you're going to need to put for this size fly. You're going to need you're going to need three of them. And what you do is you bring them and match the tips up together so that all of them are the same length, like that. Put two wraps around it and then draw it back. Draw it back in until you have until you have a shuttlecock. At the at the hook eye, <coughs> and looks like I need to go forwards with it a little bit. You want to tie this in right at the hook eye, and if you have little pieces sticking down like this, that's okay. Just simulates legs a little bit, and all you want is a little shuttlecock on top, just enough to float your, just enough to float your fly. Tie it in right at the eye. You'll see that the eye is right there. You see the eye? It's right there. Tie it all the way down to the, to the black dubbing. And now you want to take a little bit of this orange dubbing and do the same thing with it. This one's a little shorter fiber. So what I do is I will take a little pinch of it 
and you can see that it's almost nothing. Now, I'm using orange thread, but I didn't choose that because of it. You could use brown, orange, white, whatever. The dubbing will actually change the color of, of the thread. And if you use black, when it gets wet, it will turn a little darker. If you use white, it will turn a little brighter. But I just put on enough of the dubbing to build up the thorax. And all you want is a little orange ball right there. And this simulates, this simulates the uh, adult coming out of And then I pull the pull the wings back. <laughs> and then whip finish. Is that a little piece of straw or something? No. I tied with it before. It's a it's just a, a little Yes, yeah, it's, it's a little piece of the Tubing. It's, it's like a little piece of tubing. It looks like some uh, I use this. I use this to basically cap off my thing. It's the bottom section of that, and then tie that off that way, or do whatever. But you can you can whip finish it a couple of times. Uh, one thing I don't do with this is uh, put on the head cement because I don't want it to uh, soak into the thorax or in the wing the bottom of the wing.